everyone, and all this is Super Zemus, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V! Goth can't remember his own granddaughter, but that's okay. He has amnesia, he has an excuse. Whoa! Oh, what's happening? Are you burning them from the inside? No, I think those are just their souls. Which could be just as bad. Maybe I shouldn't have missed the point there. Uh, nah, that's alright. I don't need you. You don't need to take my soul. I like my soul. Yeah, what the heck? What are you doing here? Who the heck are you? Well, because Goth has amnesia, so he basically has this veil that's protecting him, so that's pretty cool. Man, advantages are disadvantages, and disadvantages are advantages. Oh, I hated that book. I mean, um, anyway. A siren, huh? Well, I guess it's fitting that you're in a ship graveyard, considering you're more from a, a, a sea perspective. I don't know, sorry. Uh, that, that's irrelevant. Um, because they're friends? Alright, I was gonna say heroes of the story, but uh, that works too. Open your eyes, what are you talking about, Goff? Ow, jeez! Oh, man. Goff, you Oh! Jeez, Ow! What the heck, Goff? She just slapped him? You five-star them! Jeez! Well, I guess it did the trick. I like how in the anthology version, um, they have different words, or different phrases for how they woke up. So, Bart's awakened. Lena woke from her sleep. Ferris regained her consciousness. Like, it's, I think it works better this way. Just awakened, awakened, awakened. Goff, you saved us by slapping us in the face. Thanks, man. All right, now we have to fight Siren, which is actually a really easy boss fight. Ah, not slow on Goff. He's the one I didn't want you to use that on. All right, so what we want to do here, uh, we're going to want to have our mages defend here. Because they're not going to be doing much. Well, I guess, uh, Lena... I'm going to actually have Lena attack, because Flail does have a pretty good attack power. But yeah, Siren here has two forms. So, right now, in her living form, um, she's going to be, uh, she's going to be susceptible to attack magic. Or, not attack magic. She's going to be susceptible to attacks. Like, physical attacks. Alright, let's cure yourself, Lena. Yeah, if you need a heal, always make sure you're close to max HP. <coughs> but eventually, this happens. Changes to undead form. Now, when this happens, as you can see, not much you can do with physical attacks. So, what do we do? Fire! Woo! Baby! Now that is attack. That's attack magic right there. And what you can also do, you can also uh, use cure magic to attack. Which deals about 80 damage, pretty good amount, but I think only do that if you're at max HP with everyone. If you're not, then just don't do not do that. I'm gonna try to get a little more attack there, so... It helps. Every little bit helps. Okay, now since everyone's taking a bit of a beating, I'm gonna have Lena cast Cure on everybody. Alright, defend there, Barts. And I want to have Goff maybe cast one more Fire Spell. Alright, that should do it. And... Ow! Ow, jeez. Alright, I guess that's not happening. Okay, uh, one more Cure should do. Come on, Goff. Don't be slow, we need your help here. Alright, now see, now she's gonna change between undead form and, um, <coughs> and, um, living form, uh, throughout the battle, so. Well, thank you for casting out the same person, at least. Unfortunately, viewers, this is gonna be a long battle because I wasn't expecting her to cast slow on Goth, which kinda ca uh, casts a damper on my plans. Usually, he's supposed to be dealing, like, three, five, three or four fire spells when she's undead, but since he's slow, it's not gonna do too much there. Oh, wait, he's poisoned? Oh, I didn't even notice. Whoops, well, got him anyway. Oh, that was pretty easy. I wanna get rid of that bronze armor, because that's not fair to you guys if you didn't win any bronze armor. Saved our lives, Goth. Saved our lives. Thanks, man. Alright, well that's that! We defeated Siren! 
That's right, Siren. Alright, Goff, you don't need to be embarrassed. You saved our lives, you did good. All you had to do is smack him in the face. Worked pretty well. Whoa, I'm actually low on MP. Didn't even notice. Well, that's alright. I'm almost to the next town, so let's get out of the ship graveyard. I don't want to be here anymore. Let's get to the next town. We have to get to Wars, but I don't exactly know where it is. Well, with our newly earned world map, if you press the Y button, um, with the SNES controller, I guess you'd be pressing a different one if you were playing Anthology, but on the SNES controller, it'd be Y. Press that, and you can see the world map. So, it looks like there's a town to the south there, and something across the mountains to the right. I'm gonna go to that, uh, town in the south there, so let's go check that out. Anyway, so there's, uh, quite a few new enemies we can encounter here, but before I do that, I almost forgot... Um, let's put Goth back in the front row, and I want to finish up uh, his blue mage uh, job here. So, eh, yeah, put Observ on there. Equip Optimum, uh, Broadsword, yes, and you already have the leather equipment. All right. So, yeah, I want to finish off the blue mage, get him to level 2. Once he gets to level 2, then I'll start being black mage full-time. So, it's like a part-time job. Black mage part-time, blue mage full-time. Until he quits. Which will happen eventually. What the heck is the, all the enemies? Oh, well, there they are. Okay. New enemies! We got Bighorns and Gatlings. The Gatlings in the front, if you attack them, they attack back with Needle. Ow. Alright, well, I can't use Cure, but I think... Alright, never mind. Yep. Oh, game! Alright, I want to take out these Gatlings, though. I, I forget what they're weak to. Are they weak to ice? I don't think they're weak to ice. Ow. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Never mind. Now, the big horn in the back, uh, Gatlings, you can take care of easy enough. I mean, just watch out for his counterattack. But the big horn in the fr uh, back there has a lot of HP. N uh, nothing else special about him, but a lot of HP. I think like 100. 100? No. He's like 110 HP, so a bit, a bit of an amount there. There we go. All right. Easy enough, though. There's one new enemy I want to encounter, which is called a tattoo. But if I can't find the tattoo. Well, it means I won't get wrinkly skin in the future. Nah, I guess I'm not encountering it. That's fine. Carwin! What? What's with the music here? Whoa! Man, the bagpipes going in the back. Ooh, I like it! I love this town music. If it wasn't for the fact that my emulator was so laggy, I would enjoy it even more. Yeah, that's what I call music. Do a little Irish jig with this. I feel happy! No, no, I'm I'm alive. The others were skeletons, but I'm alive. What is this? No, no, I shouldn't say that. I was about to say something that would have spoiled the plot, so... Let's, uh, not do that. North Mountain? To... Huh. So, wait, what do you say? They're poisonous. Oh, well, keep that in mind for later, viewers. Really? So, they're in a... A extremely endangered species. Whoa! Didn't even know that. Hello? Wait, what? You can't... Wait, wh why can't we go to wars? Oh, right. The boats are kind of without wind. Dang. Oh, what do we do? Aw, oh, this isn't good. We're not off to a good start here. How the heck are we getting to warts? It's like one problem after the other. We had a the boat, then Sildra died, then we lost the boat, and now we can't use another boat to get to the warts. Huh. Lizard-like hibernating things. What the heck does that mean? I don't know what he's talking about, viewers. Ah, oh, man, what do we do? Sup? Oh, so kind of like how Tycoon used the power of the wind crystal. I see, I see. Yeah, we can't let him break the water crystal. I mean, look what happened to Tycoon. How can we get to Warus? Yeah. Yeah, we have no way. Yeah, we don't have Sildra either. Wait, oh. Oh, sorry, Ferris. Come on, Gov! You poured salt on an old wo er, an open wound there. Ouch! 
I'm sorry, Ferris. That that was that was terrible. Pouring salt on an open wound. I say. I say. Don't he? Don't he know? I don't he know at all, Lena. I don't he know at all. Can't go by wind. Can't go by sea. So. We must go by... We must go by what? I guess we'll find out in a little bit. What? Really? Oh. Well, I guess we'll say hi to him. Let's see. Ooh, piano. I might try that uh, out in maybe the next episode. Huh. W wait, what's the hear you plant? Oh, whoa. What is this, Pete's dragon? That was a terrible... Knights can hold things in both hands! Oh. I don't know if I can trust your credibility after that hiccup. Could be just he has the case of the hiccups. Maybe he's completely right about that. Well, I mean, it doesn't have anything that's... Yeah, I know. Press Y. Now, I don't know if, like... Like, how I interpret it, because there is something, uh, two... A two-handed wielding that you can get from the knight, but... I don't know if it's exactly what he's talking about. Yeah, it did. How about that? Alright, well, let's go say hi to that one guy. Said you saw a dragon, right? Is that right? Alright, so... How can we believe you? Oh, really? So... This sounds uh, like a familiar hear you. Is that right? So, it, I mean, I guess that means it's the last one of its kind. Oh, yeah, they were talking about that. What's what's with that hear you plant? Oh, is that right? Well, no wonder the thing's been going extinct. If there's only one thing that can cure it, it's gonna die off. Jeez. Inferior species, I tell you, viewers. No wonder why it's going extinct. Now I feel really bad. I shouldn't have said that. Kiryu's are cool. Dragons are cool. I shouldn't have said that. I feel I feel bad now. Yeah. Can't go by sea? We'll go by air. That's the only way we got, viewers. Guess it's our only chance. Gotta hope the Hiryu's there. But will we be able to get to the Hiryu? And what things can we do in Carwin before heading to North Mountain? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy V. This is Super Zemus, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.